Hi everyone, welcome to Learn Overflow. In this video, we will discuss about this lit code problem, Pascal Strike. So this is an easy level problem and we will understand what, what this question is asking us to do, how we can solve a question like this and also uh, what should be our th thought process behind finding a solution like this. Okay, uh, so we will understand step by step into this video. Before moving on, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular lit code videos like this. So let's start. The question says, uh, given an integer num rows, that's a int num rows, okay, uh, return the first num row of Pascal time. Okay, so uh, what it means is like, uh, it has given us some numbers, uh, a few number of rows, uh, what they mean by num rows, and we need to return a Pascal time of that much number of rows, okay. So that's being the whole target for us. Now, uh, if you didn't know Pascal Stanger, so this is a uh, proper image, uh, proper GIF to help you understand what this Pascal Stanger is all about. So in a Pascal Stanger, each number is the sum of the two numbers directly above it. So see, one plus one is like two. Then one plus two is three. That, that's where it goes on. Then two plus one is again three. Then three plus one, uh, four. Three plus three, six is coming up. Then three plus one, four. So this is the way Pascal Stanger is from. I hope uh, you know about this, but if not, uh, you will understand from here as well. So uh, that is the target over here. And uh, it asks us to return the first num rows, okay? First number of rows, it, we should return from here. So how we'll go ahead and uh, like find a solution to this kind of problem. See, uh, what it actually asks us to do, like there's num row over here and we should return a uh, Pascal triangle. That's what they said. Okay, but see what's a return type over here. The return type is a 2D list, fine. If we are supposed to return a 2D list, then just think of it in, uh, don't think of it as a Pascal cycle. Think of it just you are returning as a 2D list, okay? Just think of it like that. Now it will be helpful for you to just understand it further. How? Uh, whatever with the num rows, you can start with a uh, list and if the uh, initial uh, list being only one inserted to it, okay? That being the list. And then moving on to the next step, like you will keep on, uh, uh, running a loop for the num number of rows needed. And in that loop, what you will find, what you will do, you will basically uh, add its uh, first element, like previous element, first element as, as it is, because that's one uh, first element see, as is there as it is, fine. It's, it's actually there as it is. So previous element, first element as it is, or you can simply add one as it is. And then, Following that, you will uh, do some step. We'll see that in the next uh, lines because we cannot do those steps here. And then you will add one at the end. Like after doing those steps, you will add one at the end. Now, uh, we will move, move to the next list, like uh, next uh, uh, row, uh, decrementing our number. So what will be the, our next row? Our next row will be like, uh, we'll first, uh, we, we can first add the first element of our previous row. Uh, that's possible, or you can add one from our previous row, but let's add the first element from our previous row. Fine. Now start from the second element of the, another loop from the second element of the previous row and continue to in the end of the, uh, end of the second, uh, like, like previous row. Okay. So what do you do? Uh, start from the second element and make a sum of second element and uh, first element like uh, j -th element and j minus one -th element. Fine. So do a sum like this. Uh, so one plus two is two. Fine. Uh, so you got a sum like this. And then uh, after you end the uh, like reach the end of the previous row, you simply do add one to your uh, current row. Okay. Like I want at the end. So see, you just uh, got your third row. Post that, you again like add uh, one to your uh, current row. Okay, you can add one directly, or you can add uh, row minus uh, or exactly like um, previous uh, row uh, first element. You can add like that. So it's uh, completely upon you. But the answer is, thing is, all the cases it's, you are just adding one in any ways. Okay, now you add one, then you do you start from the uh, second element of the uh, last row, okay, like previous row, 
and then uh, on this second element you uh, keep a sum of like do a sum of uh, like say you are starting for the uh, second element being the j fine so j and j minus 1 you do a sum that's 3 fine and then you move j to the next element that's the loop being running and then j and j minus 1 the second 3 you you in the you reach the end of the last uh, like end of your previous uh, row fine now simply add uh, simply add one and the end fine so concept is like this and, and the whole process on each row uh, like keep incrementing your numbers so that's the would be the whole idea behind uh, uh, finding like solution of like this fine so this will be the concept this will be the step by step thought process behind uh, so like finding a solution like this okay so uh, I hope this is understandable how you are doing. So let's uh, simply go ahead and uh, write this code. And then I will again make you understand how, what I exactly mean by uh, doing this. Okay. So let me just uh, erase this and let's write some code for this. So that's uh, this question is all about. So what exactly we are doing here over here? We are doing exactly what we discussed a uh, few minutes back. First, uh, first ex we took like an uh, triangle. So this is this will be our last uh, return. Okay, so we return uh, final triangle into build. Now we added a two uh, D triangle like analyst into it, and then in that the first element we added is one. So that's what we did in the first row. We have one in the top of it. Okay, so that's uh, this particular one being created for us. So that's the this statement is doing. Now we just decremented our num rows. Num rows like we just created our num rows and we just decremented it. Now we ran a loop from uh, current drum rows till zero. Uh, decrementing loop, so num rows minus minus greater than zero. That's the condition. And uh, so, you know, this is the post increase, uh, decrement. So that will be like after running the loop, it, num rows will decrease. Okay. So that's what uh, this num rows minus minus will go ahead. Now, uh, what this is here, first we're taking the previous row. Previous row is or triangle dot get triangle dot size minus one. What, what, whatever be the uh, number of uh, um, row we have. So I'm just taking the last row, size minus one, fine. So that's the, we're pointing it as a, a previous row, fine. Uh, then we're creating a current row, the row that we are supposed to build uh, from here, okay? Now, uh, over here, we just took the current row. And over here, I took a variable i, so i as one. So one, uh, it, it was a variable just to uh, run through the, our previous row, but uh, we're also, we need to add one to our current row, right? We need to add one initial. So that's the initial one meter. So I just use that variable, uh, like reuse that variable over here. And since it is one, I just added one in the beginning. So that's the uh, reason we just uh, took a current row as this. And further, but this variable is actually for uh, using over this loop file. Uh, so I've just reused that variable for uh, better running. Okay. Now uh, I just run a loop from oh, I. Uh, not because previous row size. Whatever be the previous row size, I kept. A, I started a loop from one and kept on uh, going through the loop uh, for the like whole uh, uh, previous row. Okay. So in this case, since we have one element, uh, like in the first case, we have one element in the previous row, and i equal to one is already equals previous row or size. So we will not get into this while loop. We'll understand this in the next row. And then what we are doing, we are doing current row that add one. So we just added one to our current row. Now we are directly adding those ones, fine. Further, we said we are just adding our this row, the row current row we created. So we added this row to our triangle. 
Okay, so that's being added to a triangle. Now moving further, now we just decremented num row first, and then we took the previous row as triangle size. So this particular last row gets uh, returned. Further, we created again a current row, and uh, in that we again added one as a first element. Right? We added one as a first element. Now uh, we started from uh, i equals one till previous row. Said so previous row size is two, so i equals one. Fine. What we're doing, uh, we, uh, so i equals one is pointing at this position, fine. Now, uh, we are doing the current row dot add, previous row dot get i and i minus one. So i and i minus one is two, fine. Now i gets incremented, that is two for now, i, I for now is two. And we find it is equal to previous row dot size, fine. So we uh, break the loop and then we add current row dot add. Current row dot add is one, we add a one at the end. So that's uh, and then we add our current row to our triangle. So that's been added to a triangle. Now again, uh, decrement the number rows and further uh, take the previous row as this this one is our previous row for now. And then we added one to our current row over here. Okay, and then in the previous row we started from here uh, like i equals one, and we just do one plus two is like three. We uh, do a summation, then move i to the next place. Okay, increment i and then one plus two is three with the, the value over there and then i is i becomes three so that's the cost of the previous row dot size over here fine and then we simply break the loop and then we add one at the end fine and we add one at the end and ultimately add this particular current row to our uh, list uh, to our triangle and uh, finally this loop goes on till until we don't reach uh, with the end of our numbers okay so once it is the end of our numbers, we simply return our track. We found our triangle. So that's uh, that's all about this question, guys. So if I just uh, rerun this question, you'll find that it's an one ms solution, as I sh uh, have shown you my moment paper. So yeah. So uh, at times it may go down to like zero ms. Uh, also, like it varies between one ms and zero ms. Most of, mostly fine. So that's the stuff is all about. So I hope I can make you understand how, what this question is and how you can solve a question like this. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for regular late code videos like this. Also, you have like uh, if you think the video is worth it or make, uh, is able to make you understand the solution, then make sure to like the video and also comment down your thoughts uh, uh, if you have any doubts or something like that. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope to see you soon in my next video as well. Thank you. 